Hello everyone. My name is Aditya Trivedi. I am a cloud engineer with the I team focusing on application integration. So today we'll be looking at how to use OAuth while invoking business object endpoints within Visual Builder Cloud Service. So I am in Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service. I have created an app. I am within the app and I've created a business object called App1BO. And within that business object, I am under the endpoints tab where I am able to see all these endpoints that come with uh, every single business object that you create. Now I want to invoke these endpoints. There are two ways to do this. If I go under the application settings, then under business objects, under the security, one way is to enable basic authentication for business object REST APIs. But sometimes you don't want to do that and you want to use the OAuth route. So what you can do is while you're developing, you come to this page and you click this button to get a access token and you use this access token to invoke those endpoints. But when you think about in a production scenario or in when your app is live, uh, you can't come here each time and click this button and use this token because this token will expire. It has maybe an hour or two hours expiry. So how do you, um, for a live app, create and fetch access tokens to invoke the APIs using OAuth is what we'll see in this video. Coming back to the slides, before we get into the setup, I wanted to show you how we will achieve uh, the that flow. So whenever you spin up a Visual Builder Cloud Service instance, uh, it is by default federated by Identity Cloud Service. So whenever you log into a Visual Builder Cloud Service page, you always see a login screen that is of the Identity Cloud Service. If we have a REST client app, it's an application that wants to access uh, the BO REST endpoints of the Visual Builder Cloud Service uh, using OAuth, what we have to do is we have to create a BO OAuth client app. And in this client app, we will use the scope of the Visual Builder resource app that gets created by default when you create a Visual Builder instance. So you will go ahead and create the client app you will get the client ID, secret, scope, and in this case, we will be using the resource owner grant type. That's why you would also need a IDCS user. Pass that along to the REST client app. The REST client app using that can then make calls to the token management APIs of Identity Cloud to obtain the token and then use that token to invoke the BO REST endpoints. Now, in my case, this Visual Builder instance is a part of my Oracle Integration Cloud instance. So what I'm going to do is note down the name of the instance, go to IDCS, open the menu, go to Oracle Cloud Services, and then here I will search for my integration cloud instance. So this is the application that gets created by default when you create a instance for OIC or for VBCS from the console. Now what we're going to do is for this resource app, we will create a client application. So on the left menu, we'll go to Applications, click on Add, Confidential Application, click on Next. So I will configure this application as a client now. Under Authorization and the Allowed Grant Types, I will select Resource Owner and Client Credentials. 
you scroll down, we don't have to fill any of this. Scroll down under Tokens Issuance Policy, we'll say Specific and Resources at Scope. And this is where you will have to search for that Oracle Integration Cloud application, or in your case, if you have Visual Builder, then the application that represents that resource. So here I found this, I will click this, and then I will add both the scopes. And done. Then next, we can skip the resources, skip the web tier policy, skip the authorization, and finish. Note down the client ID and secret. And activate the app. And you're done for this part. Now you can go ahead and test this in a REST client. Okay, so I am using Postman as the REST client. Now I have built this post call using the token URL for IDCS. Under authorization, I have basic auth and the client ID and secret. Under body, I have the grant type as password. I'll put in the scope, the consumer all scope, uh, the username and the password. And I will hit send. This will give me the access token. What I can do is copy this access token. Now I will go to my other tab where I have the URL for my video get call. Here under authorization, I will put bearer token and I will enter the token here and then send. And you can see it's 200 OK and I get some data. So before I end this video, I just wanted to give some tips. Now, when you use OAuth, you notice that the scope that we used was consumer all. So the user who has access token will be able to call uh, APIs for all the business object, not just the only app that he has access to. So you can control security using a couple of things. One is if you under tenant settings turn on only Visual Builder users can access secure applications, then the user whose username and password we put when we got the token needs to have service user service role within Visual Builder Cloud Service or Oracle Integration Cloud. The second setting is you can turn on role-based access control on a business object. And there are extensive documentation and videos out there on how you can do these things. I've put in some references. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.